Alright guys, so and in today's video, we're going to be trying to make our very own first person shooter. Now this is, this is going to be a really, really advanced, so uh, get ready. So let's not waste any more time, let's just get straight to it. Let's go. So we're just going to pick our map. Hopefully it comes up, there you go. Um, let's see, what, what map can we use? Alright, Dead Town. That sounds actually really good, man. I actually like this. Alright, there you go. We got our map. Now, I'm going to ungroup this so I can see if there's any spawn points anywhere that I can delete, unless they're already invisible. Alright, there you go. There it is. Let me actually check this. Okay, never mind. There's literally zero spawn points here, so I can uh, add them. Alright, so. <coughs> All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search up spawn. You can you can go on uh, onto the model tag and get spawn from there. But I'm gonna grab the one that's invisible because this one is just the fastest to get. So I'm just gonna add one there. I'm gonna add one there. Here. Here. Then I'm just gonna keep on doing it. <coughs> one more, and then over here. All right, perfect. We now have all of our stuff. I think I need to publish this. Yes, I need to publish this. All right, there you go. I had to publish that for a sec <coughs> because um, we're going to be able to switch our avatar. Now, uh, we're going to search up a gun because that's the whole point. I'm going to use the M4. The M4 is a really good gun. I really like the M4. So we're going to put that in our inventory. Can I group this? Can I actually group this? Yes, I can. Oh boy. Okay, then. Oh, that sucked. Okay, we got our N4. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to make this uh, in the game settings. We gotta make it uh, R6 because the guns do not work on R15. So, we're just gonna put on R6. Let's click save. Alright, perfect. Now, we would just be done by there. Um, you know, we can add a leaderboard. So, I'm just gonna search up the leaderboard. So, we can add our kills and deaths there. Yes, they already been added. Right, there you go. Now, there's this thing called uh, Real Realism Mod. It's a really good mod. Um, I'm just gonna add my blood. I don't think I'm going to add my <coughs> day and night cycle. Um, you just put all of that. There you go. The reason why I didn't put my, my graphics because we're actually going to make our own graphics. So there you go. We're, we're already almost done. So I might add like a kill count. Actually, no, nah, I'm not. Let's just um, start with your graphics. So in our graphics, you want to go into your Explorer. If you guys don't have, don't actually have Explorer, just go to your View tab and just open up Explorer and Properties on there, and your Output if you want to, just like that. Because these are these are going to be very very important. So we want to go all the way down where it says Lighting. Now, if you click on Lighting on your Properties, it should uh, open up this. Oh, uh, if you're uh, this thing should already be on show uh, on shadow map, so you should be good. But let's mess around for the for the appearance. So for the appearance, you can mess around with the with the shadow softness. I'm gonna put it all the way up on one. My environment stuff. You can have this as bright. I'm gonna have it as bright actually. There you go. <clears throat> make it look like it's broad daylight makes it look brighter so and then our brightness I don't think we gotta worry about brightness I'm actually gonna have it on D point of 46 you guys can mess around with all of this right just um, go in your lighting and change a couple of things my exposure I'm gonna keep it at like 0 0.38 that's perfect all right nice so this is all looking good. Um, you can actually go next low with the graphics and you can click on the little plus sign where the lighting is. And we're going to add a color correction. So we can change to 10 color. 
<laughs> this would be good. This right here. There they go. It's a little bit blue out here, but you can change the saturation. There you go. Or contract. I don't think we need to change. Do we need to change your contract? Yeah, might as well. 0 0.2 is perfect. Right, so everything looks, everything is standing out. Look at that. Everything looks a lot perfect. Uh, if you disable it, you can see the, how everything changed. Everything is all, it just looks more, just looks like there's more color to it now. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add our blur. Now, you might think, oh, blur might be useless, but trust me, it looks really, really nice. You just got to scale it down to like a five or a four. I think four is like the sweet spot of it. And there you go. Everything looks a lot nicer. Now, we're going to add our uh, bloom effect. Bloom effect, you can just, if you want to uh, use your bloom effect, you just have it just like this like halfway on the sun and then you can uh, mess around with this so the size I have it all the way up threshold I don't want it too bright I don't want it like very very bright I want it like this bright there you go that looks nice very very nice okay I think we have um, oh yeah let's pick a sky as well I forgot we need to pick a sky there you go. I suggest a high quality sky. This sky right here. This guy is really, really nice. I really like it. There you go. And the next, the next one is called atmosphere. Now, atmosphere just gives a little bit of a fog. You know, it's it's really nice. Really enjoy it. Your haze. I don't really mess around with haze. I don't know what why it's there. Honestly, your offset. Might as well put it all the way up. I want to be one of my viewers actually see. Now, this is like the fog, I guess you can say. There you go. I want my the people to see from far, but not like so, so far. Like that. Like that's perfect. <clears throat> there you go. Sicker haze. Let's see if the haze does anything yet. All right. Into something. It darkens uh, this. That's pretty nice. All right. What about your glare? Is your glare even useful? Nope. All right. I think we're done there. Um. Oh, sun rays effect. I forgot about that. Sun rays. Are these even use good for anything? I think it has to be in game in order to try it out, but uh, let's actually check. Let's actually go into our sun rays effect. Alright, there's our sun. Our sun is huge for some reason. I don't know why it's so big. That is. Oh my god. That's how mega huge. Oh yeah! I forgot. Um, wait, what? Wait, why does everything look like this? Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Um, you can actually change, if you go into your lighting, you can actually change the clock time. Now, this is actually very important when it, uh, when you want to, like, have more shadows in your game. So, like, uh, for example, let me just do this. You can change the time of day. Uh, nighttime just looks really weird, so I might as well just keep it on daytime. Um, I like to do it on, like, sunset right here. This is perfect. Right there. There we go. Now you can change on which direction. The latitude of it. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Okay, that looks very, very nice. I like that. Now let's actually press play. We're not done yet. We still need to do a couple more things. There you go. As you can see, we're not in first person. That's one of the things. But this this looks really really nice. I really like this. Look, we got the sun over there glazing at us. I think it's I think it's a little bit way too bright, but you guys get the point of it. Very very nice. Um, our game looks really really cool, dude. I really like this. 
Got our working guns. You can run around. I think you can crouch. Yeah, you can crouch. Oh my god, the crouch animation is sick. Jeez, I really like this. <clears throat> but yeah, we're almost done with our game. Now, um, you want to put on first person mode. What you gotta do is you gotta go to your starter player. And then in your properties, it's gonna show camera mode. You just you can change it from classic or first person lock. Just put on first person lock and you should be set. So there you go, you're already in first person mode. Now for this gun, for some reason, you can exit out of this, which is a, a little bit weird. Um, but I know there's other guns that makes it so that it, it doesn't lag out like this. But yeah, this is this is perfect. Um, you don't really have to do much. You didn't, you have to do no scripting whatsoever. And yeah, you don't really have to do anything. You just gotta go into your toolbox. Th just, yeah, but that's pretty much it. And just change the lighting of it. And then you have this masterpiece, which is... If you think about it, it's, it's a little crazy. A little crazy if you ask me. You got a bunch of things from your toolbox. And you just change your properties. And then you have this one wonderful, wonderful game. Now, I did make a video of this uh, a long time ago. And it was it got 90,000 views. It was insane. I didn't think that many people would watch it. But yeah, I'll put the video up on the top right of the screen for you guys to watch it. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, you guys can tell me how your your Roblox game looks. and tell you how, if it's good or not. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys next time. See you later.